this is Chad with round two back with another product spotlight video for December 2021 so it is Christmas time already we got all of our Christmas gear on and a lot of really cool stuff video it's a little bit late this month but that's because we have a ton of awesome stuff to show you guys we wanted to wait and get it in so there's nine model kits to show you coming out uh, automotive stuff and then for sci-fi guys we're gonna show a space 1999 a Star Wars and a Star Trek kit so no matter what you like of sci-fi spaceships that we do you're gonna you're gonna see something from us there's new slot cars we got a new Thunderjet set uh, coming out that we're gonna be showing you guys new 164 scale for Johnny Lightning racing champions and auto world and auto also for auto world we're going to have three 118 scale cars that we're gonna jump into so first thing we're gonna do start with the 164th all right, so starting off with the 164th, we're going to start with Johnny Lightning. So there's new releases for Johnny Lightning. First one being Holes and Haulers, and then we will have a Muscle Cars release to show after that. Uh, in this Holes and Haulers release, there are three, uh, three different castings with boats and two color variations for each, so six total. First being the 1965 Chevy Stepside here with the bass boat. Really cool looking for that. It's got a tan, uh, tan look to it with these orange wheels and the orange uh, on the side of it. And you can see the little fishing uh, fishing logos on the side there. Great looking one. I love doing these 65s with that uh, with all that fishing stuff. Just a good classic look for that. And the next one here is in this custom turquoise gloss color. Matching boat with that one as well. Really looks, really, really looks awesome. And then that uh, brighter blue trailer on there. It kind of plays off of those boat graphics so another good looking release for that one next up the 1973 chevy caprice here with the speedboat first version in green with the wood paneling and the matching green speedboat on that as well and version b here it's in medium red also with the wood paneling on that and those speedboat graphics on the side with that stars uh, the star pattern on it almost an Americana look on this boat which is really neat and then third is our 1979 International Scout 2 again with the speedboat first variation here is in burgundy red has a black top on it and white striping along the side of it and that white interior uh, on the boat really looks awesome all color match with that one and version B here more of a monochromatic monochromatic uh, Paint job here, white trailer, black and white boat, black and white international. Another really, really cool one for that. That's everything on the holes and hauler set. Next, jumping into the Muscle Cars USA. So six cars on this, two colors of each, 12 cars total. Starting off with the 1968 Shelby GT500 KR. First version here in orange, has tan interior. Really cool looking uh, Johnny Lightning for that one here. And white letter tires on it as well and the second variation is in this dark green color has really cool detailing you can see the different color for the uh, for the steering wheel there and a lot of other really neat uh, neat features on that one next up this is for our turtle wax license that we've got the 1965 Chevy Chevelle wagon two variations of each first one here two-tone black on top Metallic green on the side with that old school turtle power graphic. Real 70s looking graphics on the side there. And the second is a cleaner version with silver and more the updated uh, turtle wax decal on the side of it. Chrome wheels. Really cool. Almost show car version. Perfect for that turtle wax look. Really clean car there. Next up, the 1986 Buick Grand National for version A here. Version B is the Regal T-Type, of course. So version A is in black, being the Grand National, always done in black. Gray interior with that one. Black wheels with a chrome lip. And the second variation here is in rosewood. Great looking color on that. Has a uh, interior that complements it well with a red interior on there and chrome wheels on that one. And next up in muscle cars. 1977 Pontiac Firebird TA. Great looking paint job for this one. I really love this version A. Has that, it's a dark brown metallic color and that interior just pops on it with that bird on the hood. Big screaming chicken there on the hood. Gold wheels, white letter tires. 
the epitome of cool late 70s Firebird. Next version here is in white with red interior. Really looks cool with that. And that red interior with that red accents on those bird really brings out the details in it. Of course, the uh, tinted T-tops on the, on the top there look really good. And then next, we have the 1970 Dodge Dart Swinger 340. Those who know me know I love Dodge Darts. My dad actually drives a 73 that him and I work on, so every time the darts come out, I'm always excited for them. This is the uh, white version here on that dart with the blue striping along the trunk, and it has blue interior as well. Uh, might be a little hard to see there in the video, but the blue interior really looks great with that white. Next one is in a light blue poly. Has that vinyl, uh, vinyl top, black top on it with black striping. The hood scoops on there painted black. As you see a lot of them done that way and color matched wheels with the chrome disc in the center there another great looking release for that and then the 1970 plymouth gtx last in the release first bright pink all the black graphics down the side of it the hood scoop really cool details on this one and this one comes with black interior in it it's that Moulin Rouge color for that. And version B here is in burnt orange. Black detailing on that and then white detailing on the side. And you can see the top is really cool looking. It's like a mod top, almost like, a, I believe, gator skin on that one. Really cool. The mod top stuff is, is awesome. And we've done some of that at uh, Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals, which we were at. Um, has a lot of cool mod top cars, so expect some more stuff like that from us. Racing Champions Mint. You haven't seen a Racing Champions Mint release in a while here. This is a six car release. One version for those and a lot of race cars in this one. A lot of Racing Champions. Starting with John Force in the 2021 Chevy Camaro NHRA Funny Car. So of course the 2021 Funny Car. This is a newer body for this, uh, for this release. And has the tilting the tilting body on it so you can see all the details when you have it opened up great looking john force blue def graphics on it white and blue and just a really cool looking release for an hra second another new one the dodge charger srt hellcat matt hagen car has the hellcat graphics on the side of it there nice looking uh it's a deep burgundy color with black on the back of it there all the mopar and dodge graphics on the side and of course the new charger body on it as well next up the 1973 Ford Mustang Funny Car, the Blue Max Car. So really cool looking release for this one. Also a drag car body style uh, on this casting. And the Blue Max graphics really look awesome on it for that 73 Mustang. Next up, the Bill Jenkins Grumpy's Toy 1966 Chevy Nova here. White on that one, red interior. Got all the Grumpy Jenkins uh, graphics on the side of it. The bow tie, the lettering, a lot of really cool details on it as well. Also in the release, a 1971 Plymouth Hemi Cuda casting there, that Racing Champions casting. Really cool looking car for this one. Has black interior with it, black uh, shaker style hood, and all those Hemi Cuda details all along the side here. And lastly, the 1964 Chevy Impala SS409 in black 64 impala is always a popular release it's got white seats in it uh with a black dashboard really cool looking uh release for that one and a lot of chrome wheels play off that black really nice and then also for 164th last release for you guys this is the latest release for auto world 2021 release four uh six cars in this one two colors of each starting with our new casting First release, the 1977 Lincoln Continental Mark V. Great looking car for this one. This uh, this casting's been shown on a, on a few things. Actually, some of these, I believe, are even uh, about to come out. They're going to hit pretty soon here. Uh, Lamley Group did a release showing this one as well. Really like that casting, so you guys might have seen it there. First one in blue with that darker blue interior. Huge casting on that, of course, being true 164th. Nice big car. And the second version, how slick is that? All gloss black. Black interior, chrome wheels, white line tires. Super, super cool looking. I love this casting. I can't wait to see the other variations we'll have coming out for it. Next up, the 1984 Chevy Silverado 10 Fleet Side. The square body of the release. Always doing the square bodies because you guys are 
always asking for them, always love them, always like them. First version here is blue with, uh, it's two-tone blue, blue striping on the side of it, and details on that. More of a stock-looking release for that 84 here. Great-looking truck for that. And then the second one is two-tone, it's this red-orange with black on here. Another great-looking release for that one. Next up, the 2019 Chevy Camaro ZL1. The ZL1 has been really popular as well. Super cool looking release for that. First one in black, gloss black color on here. Got the spoiler on the back of it. The ZL1 details there, even on the hood. You can see it on the side of the, of the hood scoop. A lot of really cool stuff on that one. Second version is in white, and it has uh, some cool detailing like the black hood on it and the black spoiler, which is really showcased on the white color there. Next up, the next release for our Dodge Stealth Casting 1993 Dodge Stealth RT. First one here is in silver. Has the black roof for the Stealth. Really good detailing on that one. We've only done this, uh, put this release out a couple of times, so still a lot of fun getting to uh, find all the different colors to do and do all the different variations. Next, super 90s looking version here in that green, that teal green color. Very popular color for that Dodge Stealth, and one that's been really fun to bring out. Next up, fifth in the release, the 1963 Chevy 2 Nova 400 wagon. So this is part of our, of course, not too old of a casting for that Chevy 2 Nova. Uh, this being the 400 wagon version, there's a lot of cool stuff on this one. This first one in a cream color with red interior that looks great. Has all the detailing on the side of it. You can see the chrome detailing there. That goes down the side looks really cool on that car and the second is in blue with the black wheels and the chrome dish on dog dish uh chrome on there really really looks awesome for that and matching blue interior as well and then lastly in the release the latest for our 2020 chevy corvette two great looking colors for this one version a being in red with black striping across the roof and down the back there these of course uh, we have all the opening features, this being the mid-engine vet, the rear of it open, so you can see into that engine bay in there. And got silver wheels on this one. Just a really cool-looking release where you can really see all the details in that in that color. And next, the super bright yellow version. I really love this one, especially with the engine, being able to see the engine through the back. That red engine really pops uh, with that yellow there. And the black wheels uh, complement it as well, give it a little bit of a mean look. So that is everything we've got for 164th. Next, we're going to jump in and show you guys 118. All right, so starting with 118, but before we jump into 118, there was one more 164th item that came in that we do want to show you guys here. These are the new standard size blister card protectors uh, that we just got. So what's really cool about these, uh, they are Auto World blister card protectors, but they can be used to fit Auto World, Johnny Lightning, and Racing Champion, so any of our cars that we put out can fit on these. Uh, this bigger blister pack here also makes it possible to do your Johnny Lightning 2 packs. So you can see here all the different uh, styles that can fit on these blister cards. So a lot of you guys have been asking for blister card protectors since some of the uh, sizing had changed in some of the different blisters. So new thing coming out for 164th. Now jumping into the 118, we have a lot of really cool stuff, starting with the 1967 Yanko Chevy Camaro SS427. This is a McCacken release, Muscle Cars and Corvette Nationals. And if you uh, saw on our Facebook or our Instagram page, we talked a little bit about this release with the 67 Camaro. What's really neat about this is it does have new tooling on this. We tooled an RS front end for it. We tooled the rear valance and the rocker trim that goes along the side so that we can do the uh, SS or the RSSS version which actually is what this one is, is an RSSS 427 car in white. Great looking car for this, great looking release for that new RS front end, RS style front end. And you can see uh, being a Yanko car, it does have the 427 under the opening hood, uh, detailed engine of course in there. It's got detailed chassis, detailed interior, steerable front wheels, really great looking black interior on it. And being a Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals release, this is based on a real car that was at the show, uh, owned by Wayne Schmeckel, who is a really cool guy. We've talked to him a lot uh, over at Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals, and you can see the whole story of the car on the back here. 
one we're really excited about and can't wait to show you guys the other variations for that new tooling that we'll be putting out. Also, something a little bit different, this 1934 Ford three-window coupe. I love this car. I'm a big hot rod guy, and I like the, uh, we really did a lot of cool stuff with this, with this variation of it. So it's in that classic satin black style color. Really looks awesome in person if you guys can get a hold of one of these. Um, it's got red interior, which looks great with that black. There's red pinstriping uh, on the back of it. Some red pinstriping on the top uh, near the engine here, right near, the, uh, right near the firewall, which really looks great with that red interior. You can really, it really brings out that pinstriping on it. Of course, the detailed and chromed engine with a lot of uh, neat painted features on that. This also has uh, opening doors, of course, um, that those steerable front wheels that you see a lot. It has the back opens for the uh, rumble seat in the rear, which is really cool. Really good accuracy on it. Get a look at the underside there through the window. And just a really cool 118, 118 scale car and something that's a little different than some of the stuff you're used to seeing from us. So next up, lastly, 1971 Plymouth GTX, part of our class of 1971 series. A great looking release for this one in orange. Has that black, uh, black top on it. Of course, all the silver detailing along the side there, all the GTX detailing. Has white letter Goodyear tires on it, black wheels with the chrome dog dish, black detailing on the hood, black interior, and of course, uh, detailed engine steerable front wheels, detailed uh, underside of it, opening doors, opening hood, and an opening trunk on this model as well. And there's a look at the great looking illustration on the back and some of the information on that class of 1971. So that is everything that we've got for 118 scale. Next, we're going to jump in and show you guys the slot cars. All right, so for slot cars, we have a Thunderjet release for you guys. Four cars. This is a silver, sc silver screen release, and it is Looney Tunes. We're bringing back the Looney Tunes cars. So four cars in this, like I said. First one being Daffy Duck's Despicable 1963 Buick Riviera. So pretty neat looking on this one. Has the, uh, the Despicable on the side of it. Uh, red tires on this release and chrome green wheels and you see daffy duck all along the top there with the film reel uh going from the hood across the roof and and uh onto the trunk of that riviera just really fun looking uh release for this that we're really excited about doing more for the looney tunes second is porky pig in his 1967 mercury cougar you can see the that's all folks on the side of it here got porky pig on the side porky pig on the top and that striping on the side of it and some of the classic Looney Tunes colors going along the side here. Next up, Speedy Gonzalez in the 1970 Chevy Corvette. Had to give Speedy something fast. So he's got the bright green color for this. The flames on the side of it. Of course, Speedy on the side. Flames coming behind him. It's got Adios Amigos, Hasta Luego down the side of it. Uh, another really fun release for that. And then lastly... Is Tasmanian Devil in his 1963 Studebaker Funny Car. So you can see uh, Taz on the side of it, Taz on the top, has Snarl Spit Gur, all those funny uh, Tasmanian Devil sayings, and has the uh, little gold accents on it, which looks really cool with that purple color on there. So that's everything for the slot cars. Next, we're going to jump in and show you guys all the model kits. All right, so starting off with model kits, I mentioned that we have three new sci-fi kits for you guys, so we're going to start with those first. A uh, lot of cool stuff with these, including new tooling. So for Space 1999, first off, we got the Hawk Mark 9 plastic kit. This is all new tooling uh, for this. Measures 15 inches long, and that does put it in scale with our 22-inch uh, Eagle Transporter kit. So great if you already have the transporter and you want to build a... You want to build this one to go with it. There's a lot of really cool features in this kit as well. You can see kind of on the side here, that large water slide decal sheet that comes with it, the dome base. Of course, pictures of a built-out kit here, and you can see it on the dome base. And a lot of pictures here on the back of that built-out kit. 170 parts uh, on this one. Of course, really nice detailing on this kit being an all-new uh, an all-new tool for it. It's got a full-color deco guide and a lot of other really cool stuff so the space 1999 stuff does super well for us you guys really love it you're always asking for new stuff so another new offering 
put next to your, your Eagle Transporter. So next up in sci-fi, another new tool for you guys, the Star Trek USS Grissom NCC 638. So this is in 1 3 a scale. Uh, you guys have been asking about us doing this kit for a while. You've been wanting it to come out, so here it is coming soon. Of course, production sample right here. A lot of cool stuff in this one. There's a lot of uh, optional registry decals with it. So you can see here some of the decals on the side and all these different versions that you can that you can use for the decal. Copernicus, Pegasus, tons of different ones here. And a good look at that decal sheet. And there's a look here on the back where you can see it comes with that complete decal placement guide. Of course, a look at some of the other details uh, and all the detailing throughout of the uh, throughout this kit, 13 and 3 quarter inches long. Optional pendants and registries also on there um, if you want it for the next generation. And 79 parts in this one. This also is made to be compatible with custom lighting, so if you guys want to do your own lighting or, or whatever, the kit is built and engineered so that lighting can be put into it easily. So lastly, Star Wars for you guys. New Star Wars kit. So this is the return of the ad at the all-terrain armored transport. So what's really neat about this release, uh, we've got the original style packaging art from the 1981 first release of the MPC kit. And it just looks awesome. All that battle on Hoth going on here, really great throwback Star Wars look to this. But we, it's not just a, a re-release. We did do some cool stuff with this. We expanded the articulation for the legs. So now you can build it up uh, build it up and have different ways for it to be posable. Also has a spring articulated neck in it. Very good detailing on this. And uh, it comes with the ADAT, -AT, of course. Also two snow speeders and two laser turrets that you can put on the bottom if you want to make a diorama of it or you want to, you want to loop the snow speeders through it or whatever you want to do here. And there's a look at a uh, built out one with the movable control center, those posable legs, and those little snow speeders and laser turrets and everything else that goes with them. And lastly, there's a look at the expanded water slide decal sheet that is included with this kit. And next, we're going to be jumping into all the car kits for you guys. So a lot of cool car kits, too. We're going to start with kind of the fun car kits, pop culture kits, with these Monopoly kits that we have coming out. These are both Snap kits, uh, Zinger-style kits for these. Um, and the first one is the Jailbreaker, so you guys... I've seen us have a lot of fun with our Monopoly license doing these like paddy wagons and these jail transport vehicles. Well, this is, of course, all hot rotted out. Uh, has all the graphics on the side. Get out of jail free. Big blown engine. Big lifted, raked look on it. There's a look here where you can see what it looks like when it's all built out. Super cool, fun show rod style kit. And there's a look at all the colorful decal sheets that come with it that you can build up, build a really cool Monopoly vehicle or... You can build it in any way you want. You don't necessarily have to use the decals that are in the kit. But I think there's a lot of really fun options. And there's a look at the parts tree on that one as well. Very simple build, simple snap together, and a fun one to get started with. And we have one more also in the similar vein. This is the Reading Railrod Custom Locomotive. So again, that big raked style. It's This is uh, your show rod look. So it has the big, the big wheels on the back of it and a lot of really cool uh, graphics and decals that come with this. You can see here, again, what a built-out one would look like, and then all the variations for those Monopoly decals, all the different railroads, um, railroad stations and railroad signs and, and that you can put on there, numbers, and a lot of really neat stuff. And there's a look at some of the cool features, the big smokestack, exaggerated smokestack chimney on it, and these really cool, um, just awesome details for it. And there's that parts tree, again, Really simple one to put together. You could probably pick them both up and build them up really quick and have a lot of fun with those. We also have, for the Volkswagen guys, and the return of some of our Coca-Cola licensing. This is the 1971 Volkswagen uh, Superbug Gasser. So what's really neat about this one, this is uh, detailed as part of Coke's 1971 Unity Collection. So all the ad campaigns they ran in 1971 had a lot of this really cool hippie style decals and and looks that came with that unity collection so we did a lot to include that in here to build this super hippie gasser it's got a uh, backdrop that goes with it and then all the again 70 style decals here you can see the bucket seats 
some of the detailed suspension that comes in this kit, the Manx powered engine, and then you can build this also one of four different ways, so drag, street, uh, dune beetle style, open dune buggy style. So there are a lot of options that come with this kit. Being our gasser kit, it has that shortened Volkswagen body on it, which you guys have seen in previous releases of this kit. And lastly, a look there at that parts tree on the back. Another really fun one to fun one to build out. Uh, also in our series, USPS, another license that we've been working with and doing a lot of a lot of fun stuff. So this is the tin series that we've been doing, metal tins that it comes in instead of a uh, cardboard box. This is the stamp series. So all the artwork featured on the outside of it is from an actual United States Postal Service stamp. So a lot of cool arts. We've done a Studebaker. Uh, we did a charger, I believe, uh, with this kit as well, or in this uh, in this style as well, USPS. So this 53 Chevy Corvette has a lot of neat features uh, with it too. So there's some custom options that come with this. It's a, it's a rare style of Corvette. You can see some of these options on the back here, like these hidden headlight covers, um, special grill, the road lamps that come with it, mag wheels, it's got low profile tires, a custom valve cover, steering wheel, and a lot of neat stuff on that. And we also have that parts tree printed on the bottom of the tin there. So you can see that on the back. Next up, one more for you guys, and one more after this too. 1969 Dodge Charger Funny Car from Polar Lights. So this is similar to our other 69 Dodge Charger Funny Car kit, but we're having a lot of fun with this one with the Hot Wheels licensing and providing a fun option for people to build out or kids to build out or Hot Wheels fans to build out. So this co does come with Hot Wheels decals or stickers to make it easy if you're an early uh, or first time model builder or just getting started in modeling. Uh, pad printed vinyl tires, of course the red line tires on it, being that it's a Hot Wheels release and multiple wheel options that it comes with as well. And you can get a look here at what that built out sample looks like um, with that lifting body on it, drag chassis on there and some of the Hot Wheels graphics and flames that come with on the decal sheet. And then lastly, a look here at that parts tree. And for the last one to show you, one more fun kit for you guys. This is one that we're really proud of. Um, just having a lot of fun with some of, the, some of the existing tooling that we have and making some changes to it. So this is the 1959 Cadillac Ambulance. So, this originally was tooling that we had for uh, our Ecto-1 uh, Ghostbusters kit. We went through and revamped a lot of it uh, so we could uh, take off the roof rack stuff and then do some really cool things to make it just a 59 Cadillac ambulance kit. So it does come with um, this variation being the Surf Shark is cool because you can build it kind of like an ambulance or you can build this really cool Malibu, Malibu Beach Rescue rusted up shark uh, it comes with uh, these surfboards with it, a roof rack, a lot of cool options, really cool decals here for the surfboards and the shark stuff on the side. And like I said, they're all decals, so you can really, you can use them if you want to, or you can build it up in a, in a different way if that's how, you, how you'd like to do it. You can see the ambulance lights that are available on the top if you do want to build it as an ambulance. And of course, the surfboards, the roof rack that comes with it, and a look here at that parts tree on the back. So we had a lot of, we did have a lot of fun with this one uh, coming up with the surf shark thing. We'll be doing some other cool uh, like surf shark stuff with this 59 uh, Cadillac ambulance coming out in the future. So that's everything we got for you guys. A ton of stuff uh, for December, a ton of stuff for this year for 2021. Again, I always wanna thank you guys so much for supporting us throughout this year, for keeping the hobby alive. Everything that you guys do, watch these videos, Follow us on Facebook page, Instagram, all of our social media. Thank you guys again. Thank you for another awesome year. We'll see you in 2022.